All right, what's going on, guys? This is Ballistic High Speed, all right? What's, what are your names? Will you introduce yourself real quick? Yep, I'm Bryce. I am the main camera guy and editor for the channel, all behind okay. all the high speed part of it. Okay. And? I'm Adam. I pull the triggers and build the contraptions. Nice. So I don't know if you guys have seen their video recently of a, of a was it an RPG-7? or It was, it was an RPG-2 RPG rocket. Two rocket. Out of an RPG-7 launcher. Out of an RPG-7 launcher. Yep. That's how it went, yeah. And it exploded as you were trying to fire the weapon. That is correct. And you caught the whole thing on camera in Ultra very slow speed. motion. Yes. His helmet flew off his head, and it was just a complete, utter insanity moment. And, yeah. like, you got injured. Fortunately, yep. you survived the situation, and you've recovered very well. Yep. It looks like you've gotten, you've, you've like, actually recovered very well. You probably, <laughs> you, you look like nothing happened at this point, you know what I mean? So, yeah, yeah. Um, got one surgery to go. But How many surgeries did you end up having from that? I think I had four while I was in Vanderbilt. Okay. And then I would have been done. Um, they left the cheekbone to heal naturally because it was held in by other structures. Yeah. It didn't quite work out. So I'm going to have to go back in, get it rebroken, have a plate put on it, wire the jaw shut for 10 weeks. Then I'll be done. Jesus. How many surgeries total then? So if they have to do that one, I think it would be five. Five total? Yeah. yeah. How scared were you when you saw that really? happen? Were you freaking out? Extremely. Dude, yeah. what did you do? When you, what, did, what was the first thing you did when you saw that thing happen? Uh, so, well, eventually, yeah. I, got, I don't mean that like it was delayed, but... No, the did first, really good. So I wasn't watching it with my eyes. Yeah. I, was, I was on the ground laying prone with the, the high-speed trigger. Okay. Just kind of, in case the ballistic head kind of exploded to protect myself from shrapnel. I was yeah. just kind of doing that. So okay. the first thing I hear is the kaboom, which I'm ready for. I trigger the high speed and I look and it's just a plume of smoke. And out of the smoke comes him, his helmet flying out of the smoke and landing right in front of me. I saw that the slow mo when the helmet flew right. off your head in the video. I was like, oh yeah. my that God, so that, God, bro. So that was my only context immediately. Yeah. I couldn't see him because he was covered in smoke. So my first thought was he just got blown up. That yeah. was my first like gut instinct. And you were freaking. Oh, a hundred percent. That was like like instant adrenaline, instant shock, yeah. everything all at once. Yeah. And then finally, I see him. I go up to him. He's starting to breathe again. He can start to manage some words. So it was like it went from worst, worst, worst case scenario, and finally reeled it back into okay, he's alive. Let's start treating him. Call nine one one. All that good stuff. What did so, you do to start treating him right off the first bat? Like um, I thing? I wasn't the first to treat him. I got on the phone first with nine one one. Okay. Um, but the first was to stop the bleeding because it was a, a huge laceration here, yeah. bleeding down onto his neck. So we were trying to stop bleeding. Jesus. And then um, mostly looking to see how bad the arm was, because for a second there, we thought he might have lost his hand just because of how his arm kind of seized up. Wait, you, is it this arm right here? Yep. You want to check check this out? Yeah, so I went through the, uh, it's called, uh, what is it? Skin De grafting or something? Decacorded posturing. When you take a massive TBI, you do that weird, like, oh, yeah, like seize up and, yeah. and straight leg deal. Is that what happened? Pretty yeah. Much, yeah. And so when they came up, it was kind of down, and my hand and it was, was like it this. was all black, just so like they this. They just saw like to, a leathered arm with yeah. with nothing, and they thought. I mean, so we thought we were going to have to treat like amputation, essentially. Oh my loss god! Loss of limb, dude. but but then yeah, as his the as his this body goes all relaxed, the way up like this, and this was just yep. from the flames from yep, burns. This goes all the way up into yeah, here. All the way up. Uh, took god some Almighty, on the chest. man! I'm glad that you banned from MRI MRI machines for life. Really? Yep, I have too much uh, fragmentation in me. So oh my God! I can't, I can't have those. I get wanted. You know what? I bet it'll happen though. Over time, I bet it'll slowly get pushed out of your yep. skin because I, already, that's, I pulled one out. Little things are popping out. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's what I from hear. From right there. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's what I hear. That kind of stuff and then, happens from that. Like all of this is carbon burns, and apparently, like superheated carbon reacts with one of the subdermal layers, like tattoo ink. So all of those are going yep. to be tattoos he, as they go. He has like a, a two-dimensional slice of time you know what of you the should explosion. You should get a tattoo cover-up done to blend it in. I don't know <laughs> if I want to tattoo skin grafts. You don't think so? <laughs> I know a lot of people that have done it. Like a lot of, I know, I know some burn victims that have done it. So like, they can like use that, not tattoo over it, but tattoo around it to around make it, it into yeah. something. Okay. Yeah, I mean, it's just just an idea. Just planting the seed. Yeah, I, I like tattoos, a, uh, as you see. I right. like tattoos. So we did a, a podcast I'm a with uh, Jake and Nolan from Taxcon Armament last night. I did a full full reveal. Yeah. Uh, you know, 
I told them they're going to be the first ones to, to get that, so I, I can't give you that. No, fair, fair enough. Fair well, enough. Who, I, yeah. Whoever releases this first, I guess. It's, it's going to be them. It's going to be them for sure because okay. we've, got, we've got a lot. Oh, I'm sure. Oh, I'm sure of, you do. Dude, it's been all yeah. week, all week long. Yeah. It's a full week vlog. So. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, oh, that's right. You're doing the whole, yeah. Yeah, the whole yeah. week just because that way you can be like, hey, this is what an entire week at SHOT Show is and like – these are all the incredible, unique individuals I've met yeah. through my journeys <laughs> right. and like that kind of stuff. So where are you guys from originally? Uh, we're both from northern-ish Indiana. Okay. I'm in Fort Wayne. He's a little bit further out, Wabash. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You guys leaving? You leaving for good, good? No, no, no. I'm like... Yes, you have other things? Hey, come give me a hug before you leave. Don't just leave. Uh, give me a hug. I'll be here tomorrow. Too. Okay. I'll be here all day. Let's do something tomorrow. I'm doing a podcast with, with uh, Taryn Tacticals or and Julie tomorrow. Hopefully Taryn if he can. But I, I like. Can we I, text him? Well, yeah, if you could text him. It's, okay. it's at noon at the, the Huxworks booth is where we're trying to do it. So cool. she was just trying to see if he was free. But, hey, good to see you again. It was so good. Thank yeah. Thanks for all you're doing. Hey, thank, thank, thank you. I appreciate what you guys are doing, too. All right. All right. So you said you're from Indiana. Indiana. Yep. And what part of Indiana? Northern Fort Wayne, Wabash area, kind of just up in that corner. Okay. Yep. We live about an hour. Wabash. Yep. All right. And I'm so out, you I'm guys out in the sticks with some property. That's where the range is. Cornfields. That's what we used Cornfields. To. Yeah. Is it your property? Yep. Okay. Where'd you get the property from? Your family or something? Or you just buy it I one day? It. Yeah. When I got home from deployment, I bought it. Oh, so you're prior military too? Yeah, I did 13 years in Sayop. Did you really? The, Were you in the military? On the, nope. on the nope. reserve side, yeah. Nice. Yeah, That's did, cool, man. I didn't realize that. Did Djibouti in Somalia 2016, 2017. When did you join? 2009. Okay, okay. Yeah. Damn, I didn't realize you were you had served in the military too. That's cool. We, man. I kind of try to keep it off the channel. Yeah. It's, it's like too easy for it to just take over. Okay, yeah, I get, I get yeah. what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. we're here for the science and people too. like to take it certain ways. Yeah. yeah. No, that makes sense. Oops, sorry. Oh, you get it now? Yeah, I gotta get to it for the Okay, alright. Yeah, we'll see you next time. This is the way it is. You gotta head out? Yeah, we're just going over to USCCA back. Oh, you come back though? Uh, no. Like, that party goes until like 11 or so. Okay. Are you guys going to the cry too, or? Okay. Cry always turns into a fucking. Oh, okay. That's not It's like they're filming. Go, go. Are you gonna be here tomorrow? Uh, for a little while, yeah. Okay, I'll see you tomorrow at some point. Alright, take it easy. Oh yeah, let's make sure that doesn't close. Yeah, out of here. God damn, I'm getting yelled at. This is ASMR with and ballistic high speed. Neither am I. Don't worry. Yeah. But not to not be interrupted. <laughs> All right, sorry. The lack of respect. We, we know our place. I know it's, it's yeah. We picked the spot right in front of the door. It's at least we is. can hear ourselves. It is what it is. Yeah, yeah. and at least yeah. they'll be able to hear us because we got my like, actual mics and stuff. So. Yeah. You did 13 years in the Army. On the reserve side. On the reserve side, yep. in SIOP. You got out, yep. and you moved back. You bought some land. How did you meet this guy right here? You want me to talk? I don't care. Okay. I always I'm tell. Curious. I'm curious. Well, my background, obviously, is in film production, videography, all okay. that good stuff. So I did a lot of commercial advertisements, music videos, all that good stuff. Nice. Um, a girl he was dating at the time did country music. She hired me to do a music video for her. So I just met him casually through the shoot. Nice. And then we added each other on Facebook, and it was just kind of background radiation for a while. And then, um, right, what, was, did we we filmed that during COVID, didn't we? The the muzzle exits and stuff. Yeah, it had to have been. Yeah, so like pretty early on in COVID, um, I just gotten recently um, Phantom V711 ultra high speed camera, and I was like, I've never a really Phantom V711. Yeah, that's How one much of them. One of those run. Um, Eighty thousand dollars at least. Eighty thousand. You could you, you could, could saved up for it. No, 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 no. I, I so you can. You can get used ones, refurbished ones, okay. go that route, but... Um. Mr. Liddell, how you doing, man? Good to see you. Bye, Nico. Bye. You leaving? Okay. Thanks for saying bye, asshole. I'm just not bye, Nico. I'm talking to 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 Nico. I'm Oh, Sorry, about God. You're, you're good. You're floating good. Shirt. <laughs> it's just a floating shirt. <laughs> oh my God. So okay. Anyway, so you, yeah, you can so, get refurbished. So ones. so Phantom cameras, n brand new, can be anywhere from fifty thousand dollars to like two or three hundred thousand dollars. So okay. so I'm I'm the crazy one that really wants Phantom cameras. Super passionate about high speed imaging research, all that stuff. So I think it's really cool. I wish I knew more about it. 
there's a lot to know. Yeah. So I had just gotten a V711, which is capable of hundreds of thousands of frames per second. I had never filmed ballistics, and now I finally could. Yeah. And I, I just put out a post on Facebook. I was like, anyone on here have some land, some guns? I have a high-speed camera. Let's do some stuff. And he replied. I was like, if you want to make the drive, I'm an hour away. And I did. And we spent the day filming. We were shooting fruit, just like normal dumb stuff. Yeah, yeah. And then I was like, you know, I don't think anybody's ever seen really high quality muzzle exits but like a comparison video of like a 22 and 9 mil a, a 38 special a cool 9 idea. millimeter different rifles shotguns and so we did that like super clean white background 100,000 frames a second just each of the different bullets going i edited it i just put it up on facebook then the next day and it just blew up like millions of views overnight um, so Coleon awesome. shared it, uh, the NRA shared it, all sorts of... Six hour... Coleon six the hour. War. Yep. Yeah, that's yep. awesome, man. Yeah, and we... over, overnight, it literally blew up, and so that was a conversation with me and him. I'm like, do you think we could turn this into something? Because yeah. there's obviously a niche that's not being filled well enough, yeah. and that's that, that birthed Ballistic High Speed, that's making that video. That's freaking awesome, man. Yeah. Do, you guys, do you guys still live in, in uh, yep. Indiana, then? Yep. For now. For now, for now. You plan on relocating or <laughs> I something? Hate it. Maybe uh, if if the channel continues to take off and it just makes sense, yeah. makes sense for us and our families and stuff. Probably. Do you guys right. have kids? Not yet. No. Okay. Well, nope. you're, you're both married. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm not yet. No. Got a girlfriend then? Yeah. Girlfriend. Yep. Okay. Yeah. So it's just just got to make sense for us, business and personally. But yeah. right now it's single digits in Indiana. We don't want to go back. Dude. But eventually we <laughs> Dude, have to go back. Single digits. Yep. I hate the cold, man. It was, it was one was, degree when I left. Yeah. Really? Yep. It was 17 degrees when I was leaving Raleigh to come out here. Yeah. And, and I was I was I was unhappy about that. So I can only imagine like. Yeah. No, it, it gets down into the negatives, too, sometimes. Yeah. Like, it's it's wild. Bro. So. Oh, yeah, it should be should be good. There we go. Yeah, dude. Drive tanks. Drive tanks. Drive tanks. Yeah, I got to talk to them, too. That's so, dude, freaking crazy. They're here, too, man. I know. Everybody, everybody is here, man. It's insane. But, okay, so you guys are thinking about relocating, but you yeah. want to wait until it makes sense for both your spouse, your girlfriend, your families, Business, and financially being able to manage yeah. something like that. If you could move anywhere and that all stuff worked out, yeah. where would you want to live? Mine will be a little bit more restricted. So okay. I'm a current um, 01 FFL holder, and then gotcha. I have a federal explosives user's license. And then by summer's end, I should be a firearms manufacturer and um, SOT. Okay. And so it'll really just kind of be, for me, it would be very heavy state dependent on what states would also yeah. reciprocate that. And then would, it, it goes would, down to the county level and all of that. Which state would like allow you or honor that for that state? Well, there, I mean, like there's the obvious ones like Florida and Texas, okay. but I've been there in the summer and that's yeah. almost as insufferable as winter in Indiana. So I'd like to find somewhere kind of in between, like a Tennessee, Georgia. I've really enjoyed Tennessee every time. Tennessee's yeah. nice. Western North Carolina is something you should look into as well. Yeah. Yeah. yeah the mountains. It's beautiful up there. There's tons of land. It's not that expensive. Lots of backdrops right for stuff. explosives. Dude, yeah. imagine you have a big, huge, buy a, buy beautiful a mountain in the right. Appalachian Mountains in the background. You yeah. just got your range set up or whatever. Like, All we need is sunlight and high-speed cameras. We're good to go. And like a Dude, I, I highly... Right. That's my... I'm retiring out there when I'm done with everything that I'm doing with you know my actual That'd day be job. Like, because it's right. just the most beautiful place I've lived in the in the country. Mm -hmm. Other than maybe like Hawaii. I lived in Hawaii for five years, oh, too. Nice. But... Um, so you guys foresee this becoming like a long-term We'd like to, because right? the, the channel's fun. We get sponsorships on there yep. and stuff. Oh, you're good, you're good. Yeah, you're good. So you're good. You're good. Yeah, we, we, we appreciate we, that. We yeah. picked this the is, weird spot. Hey, it was good meeting you. It was good, good meeting all you guys, man. Yeah, this great, isn't even real. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. I got your number. We'll be, we will be in touch. Yes, you too. We'll talk to you guys soon. We will absolutely yeah. be in touch, 100%. Um, um, so, yeah. You want to move, you're waiting for it to be a feasible thing, but you, you're you going to continue to work on the channel, yeah, build the channel Yeah, because the, the channel's fun. We do a lot of cool stuff on there. We get access yeah. to fun stuff. Most people don't. Um, we do sponsored stuff, obviously. Yeah. Um, we also do, and this is growing pretty rapidly, a lot of stuff outside of the channel, because we have the equipment, we have the technical knowledge, we have the know-how to do stuff. Sure you're able Ballistics, to forensics, research. Yeah, research yeah. Um, and development all the time. Yeah. That's the goal, anyways, to travel for it. So we get work outside of the of the channel where they're like, "This has to be under NDA. We're developing this, this, and this. Can we have you image it for R and D? Send back the data, send back the footage, 
keep it off the channel for now, but that That's kind of stuff. Cool. So we're, yeah. we're trying to hit both sides of it, the fun sponsored stuff on the channel and the serious stuff outside the channel. Yeah. Just cause like the camera does all of that stuff. Yeah. And those are really fun because there, there's no audio, there's no like script to go through or anything. Yep. It's just, just like a nice, data. quick, easy day. And then he spends, you know, some time going through, uh, developing out like energy transference, you know, from muzzle to target and all that, depending on what they want, obviously. Yeah. So you've gotten real into like, actual ballistic stuff yeah. as well, like the science behind yeah, it. Yeah, my, my background's really heavy into just physics, and right now it happens to be extrapolating into ballistics. Yeah. Well, it sounds like it worked out. That you, is that what you majored in or something? Or? Nope, that's just what I enjoyed what learning enjoyed? about. I mean, I back in high school, like the AP physics classes and stuff, but I didn't I didn't get a degree or anything. Okay. Just self-taught because I enjoy it. Well, you know what Elon Musk said? You can learn anything for free on the internet. Basically. Yep. You know? So, like, honestly, that's probably, you know, that's probably one of the best things you can do is just like if you're passionate about something, you seek out the information, you try to teach yep. yourself and learn. E except learning how to use phantom cameras. For some reason, that's not on the internet. Well, that's, for, yeah. Well, I Maybe I should start that. Maybe, no, yeah, you keep, can probably. Let's, let's keep, keep that for proprietary. Yeah, 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 let's keep that's that's that proprietary. That, off the internet. Yeah, that could be some like YouTube videos you yeah. make on the channel. Here's how to use a phantom. Yeah. Hire me. Hire, Hire me. me. Yeah. <laughs> that's how it'll work. That's about as, yeah, that's as easy as it is. That's a clean pitch. Yep. But, I didn't realize that I had been watching a lot of your videos on TikTok as I was scrolling. Like the torso oh, bowling ball. Gotcha. Yeah, that that yeah. exactly like random or like things. Like the bullets like that. hitting the steel and fragmenting. Yeah, That's a good I thing. like you see all these things, but I didn't know it was you because of course nobody ever tags the freaking creator like they should. Yeah. We you know? we try to watermark and have our branded stickers in there, but it's we hard. don't. We try not to do too much of it. It's yeah. hard. It's hard. You know, it, it's a tough. It's a tough space. But as long as like they're not posting on YouTube and like pulling from your, you know, stuff on there. Right. Oh, we have I don't to know, have it's a complicated thing. We have thing. to have them taken down all the time. Yeah, yeah I'm sure. They just I'm straight sure. re-upload like, the They just way. straight re-upload oh, They don't even like try to fake a reaction. They just put like little emojis over the ballistic eye speed watermark and they just re-upload it in its entirety. And YouTube's Same like, yeah, we know what you're doing. <laughs> yeah, they're like, yeah, we know that you're, yeah, that's the, that's They're just like, you want weird. this taken down? We're like, yeah, please. Yeah, yeah. Please. <laughs> yeah you want us to remove this? Yeah, yeah yes. please. At least they're helping you guys out. 100%, you, guys. Yeah. you probably have some like people that you know that can help you with that stuff. Too, A little bit, sure. yeah. Yeah, yeah I guess, important. so I don't, um, I don't really do TikTok too much, yeah. but all of my friends do. And okay. so if one of them is like taking off, they'll send it to me and yeah. so that I can see it. Yeah, they so don't really do much about it when I, when I report it. TikTok? I think, it's, I think it's because we don't have an official yeah. high speed TikTok we, to say, yeah. hey, they're stealing our Yeah, we, we have a login, but somehow it got suspended before we ever did anything. Yeah. <laughs> I, so they were just like, that sounds like guns. No. No. Yeah. So I don't know. We don't mess with TikTok. Yeah, yeah it's tough. It's a comp, man, the whole social media mm -hmm. space is like so convoluted and complicated and there's like so much like what's the word like backdoor stuff going on yeah. back room stuff yeah. going once, on uh, once we're like full time YouTube and we can kind of actually process how Facebook and TikTok and some of the other ones work we'll yeah. probably start you know branching yeah. branching if you can out. get monetized on you know four or five different platforms and start getting some revenue from multiple places yeah it's the ticket out of Indiana. Yeah, yeah, for <laughs> sure. Yeah, 100%. And I mean, honestly, at the end of the day, you guys started at the right place because YouTube is for sure by far the most lucrative platform yeah. out of everyone. That's why That's why Mr. Beast, when, when um, Elon Musk was like, His Twitter why don't goal? you post it on yeah. here and see how much money you can make? And he's like, it's not even going to be close to the amount of money I would make if I Did posted it on YouTube. you see what he YouTube. made? No, what was it? 250000 he made two hundred fifty thousand dollars on that video. He himself said that he feels like advertisers had overbid because it was the first one ever, so there was a lot of hype behind yeah. it. Yeah. Like so he gave you know. away the entire two hundred fifty thousand dollars. Of course he, of course he did. It's but like, not oh, to me. I reposted like I was supposed to, and I didn't win it. <laughs> yeah. Oh God, yeah. See, I, I missed out on that. My Twitter has been the slowest to grow platform, so I don't even get it really hardly yeah. any reach. I just there. started doing it. I saw I would get sent Twitter stuff, yeah. and it was a bunch of our videos. So I made one, and then I would just kind of lurk and watch for people. And I don't engage in like negativity stuff no. on there, oh, but no, I would I see that. like somebody reposted it, and it was um, something about our channel, and somebody uh, commented, and they're like, "Yeah, there was a." Uh, Ballistic high speed nerds are pretty cool or something. And yeah. like I randomly replied, I was like, What'd you call me? <laughs> and he was like, Oh shit, you're on here. <laughs> no, you're on here. Oh my god. That's funny. Yeah. yeah. That's cool. Yeah, I need it I'd, I'd like to get more involved on there and like do stuff, but I don't know. I, I do you just post do you post videos on there or what? 
No. No? Just like I mean, unless you're doing it, I don't know about it. On Twitter? Yeah. Definitely not. No. Yeah. Okay. No, Instagram is our only other social media that actually gets content. Yeah. Facebook okay. just exists just to have it. Do you cross-platform posts? Like you post on Instagram so that it posts to your, automatically posts to your Facebook? Um, I think so, yeah. yeah. But it we, we try easy. to put like long form content can work on Facebook but not obviously on Instagram all that well so okay. some stuff is different but yeah. yeah there's like there's some weird cross platform transfer weird yeah, stuff that goes something weird yeah well hey you know I, I love what you guys are doing I think you're doing awesome stuff that. you're obviously doing a great job people love what you do like yeah. you've been very successful especially with the, because it's fascinating people like to see physics in slow time because it's like hard to see physics because a lot of times it's very fast moving very fast. too yeah. fast for the human eye to capture yep. um, but you're able to capture this these incredible moments that what people was that can see. slogan that did you come up with that slogan oh so so back when i first got into high speed imaging i was like if i make a company out of this i want my slogan to be when it's too fast to see but too important not to and then there was a high speed company out there that already had it. I was really <laughs> Oh really? <laughs> and so you came up with ballistic high speed well, well no, that was that was just a slogan if I ever had a company. Um, ours just between us on set is just like whenever we're like you know, maybe we're getting tired, we're just like high speed, high standards, like we gotta keep going. Yeah. You know, so that's kind of our slogan now just personally. But um, we do reshoots. I mean, we've realized that we missed a muzzle exit one time and like he drove the entire hour back down, set just the camera up. Get the muzzle exit. One way, muzzle exit. So you're still an hour away from him. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yep. High speed, high standards. We do we we do our best as often as we can. How how often do you guys try to post videos like long form? Our goal right now is twice a month. Twice a month. Every two weeks, a, yeah. a nice long form video. Yeah, because that's probably a lot. It's probably a it's lot of a work lot, a lot. involved and a lot of editing. How long are your videos typically? Like thirty uh, minutes or? No, f I would say most are like twelve to twenty. Yeah. Three. Okay. Kind of in that range. Um, we've got like a, a longer 25, 28 minute one. Some yeah. are like eight minutes, but like yeah. usually in that range. Okay. Well, so. yeah, you guys are doing an awesome job, man. I appreciate you taking the time to just like. Yeah, know. we we know we're really new to the to the whole gun tuber community, but it seems like a lot of people have been accepting us, which has yeah. been really yeah. cool. So. Well, you guys are both friendly, and I think that's friendly, and you're you're like just regular dudes just normal yeah. dudes from indiana yeah <laughs> yeah just salt of the earth man you know what i mean and Thank like i think much. being being friendly and just like just being a chill person and being, like, being nice to people it just like goes a long the, way like monday at the gun day gundy's we won video of the year yeah i saw that congratulations so by the way Thank that's you. huge man yeah. on stage i had the thought i was like i'm just some dude from fucking indiana what are, yeah. man. What what are we doing in the doing? venetian theater yeah. <laughs> that's how i feel as i've walked around this whole place too yeah. like i'm joe schmo we like, were walking I'm, down like, you know the vegas mean? boulevard past this group of three guys and they were like ballistic high speed we're like we what? turned around they they're, like, they're like dude can we get pictures we were like, we're like i guess yeah how cool is that it's so wild it's like the coolest thing ever i think that's one of the that's one of the positive sides to to, to YouTube and Instagram and TikTok and all this stuff is like it brings so many people together because you guys get to make cool stuff that you enjoy doing yeah. and yeah. then you get to sh show all these people this cool stuff that you also like to do anyway and they appreciate it and when they see you they're like dude I love what you guys do yeah, you're doing awesome weird. stuff yeah. That's crazy. and it's like it's just I think what it does is it really it just like breeds this this type of community and the, everybody's been so friendly this whole time I've been out here. I'm sure you've experienced the same thing. Oh, yeah. You know, and, and everybody's super close to each other. They hook each other up with, with like, oh, yeah. whatever kind of stuff, like, to help people out with whatever they're dealing oh, with gosh. or whatever they're going Eli. through. Eli. Holy yeah. smokes. I can never give him enough props. Yeah. They do a good carry, guys? Oh, my gosh, oh, yeah. yeah. Every time we've seen him. Yeah. Every time. See, that's, yeah. yeah. And that's what it's all about, like, paying like it for the people and, like, branding. Just being a good dude, you know, like yeah. be like setting the setting a good example of like how to be a good human being, you know. A lot of these guys do an incredible job doing that. Like they're definitely people I look up to to like try to be like that one day, be like a, just a good oh, human being, yeah. and just treating people like, you know, treating also, people that are flying awesome. On private planes is kind of cool. Flying on private planes <laughs> is very cool. I haven't done that quite yet. No, well, I've done no. it once, but it wasn't it wasn't for like YouTube or oh, anything okay. like that. Yeah, I don't know. So you stumbled on by accident. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, private. So we flew on a general's jet because they were trying to get us to Japan from Okinawa. Okay. So, but that's the only that that doesn't count though. It's very like, situational. Yeah, it's very situational. So, it was it wasn't like somebody was like, "Hey, you're cool. I want to pay for a flight for you." You know what I'm saying? So the C-130s and Blackhawks don't count. No, but I have flown on C-130s <laughs> and Blackhawks. Actually, private. the most comfortable ride is like C. 
17 that I've ridden on. Really? Yeah, probably the most comfortable military flight I've ridden on. But mine was definitely. So when we were in Somalia, I mean, we bounced around all over the place. Sure. And it was such a low biz thing that we were doing. Okay, yeah. It was all the nets are gone. I mean, you're just sitting in the back of like the UTVs and oh, okay, you know, just kind of broing out. Broing out. Yeah. That's always good. Broing out's good. Do you guys brought together? Yeah, yeah, usually good. Oh, yeah, yeah we uh, we he's, ever, he's got a shop and he's got like a pool table in there. We'll go there, have a couple, couple beers, just ideate what we want to do next on YouTube. Look at comments, look at our analytics, just just have fun. Yeah. That's right. Now, when, you said you got your ex, what kind of explosive license stuff are you talking about? Um, it's a federal explosive users license. Okay, so you can. How do you get all these explosives anyway that you guys use on your channel? Uh, so far, we've traveled to people that have it. It's okay. very, it's very new to us yeah. to to actually have the license. Okay. Um, like Tread but, in Pennsylvania, Washington yeah. County machine guns. Yeah. Um, he's the guy that set up the bowling ball cannon video. Oh, okay. Um, he's the yeah. one that owns that property and all that stuff. Yep. And, but do these people just like loan it out to you or let you use it or do you have to pay for it? How does that work? Uh, most of the time, we collaborate with them, so yeah. we'll okay. shoot content for them. They'll let us use the explosives, make content for us, and it's just okay. a very good trade. So, and he's got super popular videos. He's got a YouTube channel as well. He's oh, the one that gotcha. does like the huge uh, mag dumps of like a bunch of machine guns all at once, like oh, okay. just swapping out all the machine guns. The uh, the content creator range day he does like daily. Daily. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's like oh, all okay. No, he'll send me text messages, and he's like, just got my new um, C4 shipment in, and it's a literal pallet of just one-pound bricks of C4. Yeah. <laughs> he just gets, sh like, explosive shipped to him. Yep. Yeah, I mean, he has, like, weight limits yep. and all he, that he kind of stuff. He teaches explosive yeah. classes, which we've gone to. Yeah, we really? That. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah, yeah, I was always wondering, I was like, how did they get, how did you get your hands you on RPGs? It on the side like, of the road. Yeah, it's just, uh, you know, in Indiana, sometimes you're driving down the road, and there's some there's RPGs, RPGs. Yeah. just yeah. chilling there. Yeah. You know? uh, so through the Army, I mean, I've made... A billion contacts when, when I was yeah. doing all the psyop stuff. That's cool. And I know how weapon importation works, and it's a bitch. Yeah, but I don't. But I what's don't. not a bitch is domestic manufacturing. <laughs> and being a machinist, Fair enough. <laughs> I know machine shops. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Yeah. I, see, yeah. I see, I see, I see. So we know explosive so. people, we know machining people. Stuff can happen. Okay. Let's get together. I was like, how is this companies. happening? I was like, this. How are you importing all this no. stuff into the country? It's like, okay. I mean, right, if we sense. came across some imported one that people wanted to see on high speed, we'd of course film it. But, yeah, right, but you yeah. wouldn't have to deal with the importation right. piece. You'd just be like, that hey, would let's be film it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that makes sense. I think that's what a lot, I've started to learn that a lot of people do that in the community. Like, for example, like your anthem, like, oh yeah, you guys are yeah, good. Yeah, yeah. I just didn't want to get in the No, you're, yeah. you're fine. We're not that important. <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah, I'm so not that's... even real. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, I've noticed a lot of people, like, for example, some of the big, bigger gun tubers, like, they, they have so many contacts and connections that happen to be, like, firearms collectors mm -hmm. and people that have all these exotic firearms and, like, all kinds of stuff that you don't ever see. And they'll, they're, like, kind enough to, like, fly up there, bring it with them to these people so that they can test shoot them on their ranch or wherever and shoot yep. some yeah, videos like demo there. ranch had a guy fly that gyro jet out to yeah out to like demo place. ranch and then he didn't call us to do slow-mo for it grand we thumb sad. too he <laughs> does the same thing um yeah. like all these all these great dudes i'm sure that brandon herrera has probably done that before donut operators probably done some things like that you know uh kentucky ballistics definitely does stuff like that Absolutely. for sure like yeah bring bring people into the fold and be like hey i'll come by we'll like we'll we'll shoot some videos and like bring some of the guns that you guys own and we'll try and we'll test shoot them like that's cool, man. And that's another thing. Everybody works together and it's like benefiting everybody because yeah, yeah. like you're sharing each other's audiences, which means that everybody's growing together. Everyone's becoming yeah. more successful together. And you're also having fun because you're making connections with people, like genuine connections with other human beings that like the same stuff you do. Yeah. You yeah. Know? And that's that's the cool part of the way this yeah. community builds upon we, itself. We had no idea the gun community was like that. For I did media either. and YouTube. And just now that we're stumbling into it, it's like that's really nice. Yeah. That's yeah. yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's like there's just good people, man. And like they, they everybody helps each other out and like works with each other and like they all do the same stuff for the most part, but it's just like variations, but they're all doing the same thing. They're all enjoying the things that they're doing. Yeah. They're doing stuff they like, you know. And anytime you collaborate with somebody in the same space that does it a little differently, that kind of gets you in the mindset of like, oh, yeah, I haven't tried that. Let me try that. Watch yeah. the analytics on it. Like, stuck, oh, they do like that. Stuck in your style, or, stuck in your rhythm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's another good Shake thing Shake it up about. a little bit. Yeah, because, yeah. like, it's it's easy to get sucked and zoned into, like, tunnel vision of what you're doing. Yeah. But then you get a different perspective from somebody else, and you're like, I didn't think of that. 
you know, yeah. let's try some other stuff like, out. Like, we don't, we don't do, like, the, um, like, the comedic opening skits and, like, different, like, costumes and stuff like yeah. that. We just kind of go straight to what we're doing. Yeah. But on our next video, we kind of have, like, a, a funnier one that we kind of cut loose and we did something a little yeah. goofy with it. And okay. so we're going to see, you know, like, do so they like, like that? Do or they, do they yeah. just want us to shut up? Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm sure. Well, I mean, like, that, that's the cool part about this whole thing is you just try different stuff. Most see, of them see, just skip to the high speed shots anyway. I don't blame them. <laughs> yeah, actually, yeah, they fast forward. But I wonder, I don't know how that works as far as like when YouTube's calculating views and stuff, if they fast forward. I don't know if that like I mean, they counts can, or what. I mean, they give us the retention curve of when people fall off and come back and stuff. Yeah. But okay. I mean, I think, I just think there's a minimum amount of seconds they have to watch and then it's counted as a view no matter what they do. Oh, so, okay. So okay. it makes it pretty easy. Yeah. Okay. Well, hey, man, again, I appreciate you guys taking the time to Absolutely. come out here and talk to me. Yeah. I know I'm not I don't, like, I don't know how we got I'm not here, like this, <laughs> this everybody else in there's way more important than I am, but no. it's like, you know, I like Yeah, we belong out here in the hallway. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I definitely this is where I, I belong in the hallway too. I'm not like that. I might just sit here. I don't know if the I don't know if the door got oh, locked. Oh, did we get locked? Yeah, we, we got locked. Did out. we get locked out? Let's see. <laughs> that literally made so much sense. <laughs> Help. It's all right. We got friends in there. I'll, I'll text people. Right as we said we need to stay out here. I was like I was like, right we said, right look, like, okay. <laughs> but yeah. Anyway, man, I appreciate you guys. I, yeah, I love absolutely. what you guys do. You're doing an awesome job. Like, we're going to yeah, try keep, to keep doing it yeah, as keep, long as you yeah. can. Keep it up, man. You guys are killing it out there. Yeah, so. Thanks so much. Yeah. That's cool. Nice.